Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey. Here is the latest in local sports. The Eagles go to 12-1, Drexel basketball beats LaSalle, Billy shortstop Trey Turner will be going to Philadelphia, and Jalen Hurts was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Coltrane Washington and Amari Williams combined for 35 points as Drexel defeated LaSalle in overtime on Saturday at Tom Gola Arena, 65-58. The Dragons defeat the Explorers for the fourth straight time in Gola as they improve to 5-5. Five five. LaSalle raced out to an 8 nothing lead as the Dragons got off to a slow start offensively. Drexel made just one of its first 11 shots but still only trailed by 8. The Dragons started the game by missing their first 11 three-point attempts but made up for that by taking good care of the basketball and playing a strong defensive game. Drexel committed just two turnovers in the first half and chipped away to tie the game at 31 at intermission. Washington scored 21 points to lead the way as Drexel continued its impressive streak in Olney. Williams scored 14 points, grabbed 11 rebounds, and blocked four shots. Drexel held the Explorers to just 35% shooting in the game. The Dragons had a big night on the glass, out-rebounding their Atlantic 10 opponents by 10. That included 17 rebounds on the offensive end. Final score, Drexel 65, LaSalle 58. Good luck to the Drexel Dragons in their next game against the Seton Hall Pirates on Wednesday. Shortstop Trey Turner and the Philadelphia Phillies agreed on an 11-year, $300 million contract. Turner's dynamism was on display in 2022 when he had a 298 batting average, 343 on base percentage, 466 slugging percentage, with 21 home runs and 27 stolen bases for the Los Angeles Dodgers. It matched the production throughout Turner's career, which he has hit 302 with a 355 on base percentage, 487 slugging percentage, with 124 home runs, 230 stolen bases, and 586 runs scored in 849 games. Welcome to the city of brother we love, Trey! Last week, Jalen Hurts ran for 157 yards, part of a 363-yard effort for the Eagles, as the team stampeded all over the Green Bay Packers. On Sunday, Hurts threw for 380 yards and three touchdowns, combining a total control of the offense and making safe passes to keep the chains moving with the go for it mentality that has defined the team's vertical passing game in 2022. There are many ways to be an assassin, and in his second full season as the Eagles starting quarterback, Hurts is hitting all the white cues. His brilliance has again been recognized by the NFL, as Hurts on Wednesday was named the NFC Offensive Player of the Week for the second consecutive game, becoming the first Eagle to accomplish the feat since Michael Vick in 2010. It is the seventh time the Eagles have been honored with Player of the Week honors, most by an Eagles team since 2004, also seven. And Hurts was also named the NFC Offensive Player of the Month in September. Hurts now has 20 touchdown passes and only three interceptions. And he's been able to take chances throwing the ball down the field while minimizing the risk a very difficult trick for a quarterback. Congratulations to Jalen Hurts for being named NFC Offensive Player of the Week. The Eagles dominated the Giants from start to finish in trouncing their division rival 48-22 to improve to 12-1, maintain their lead in the NFC for the number one seed, and clinch a spot in the postseason tournament for the second year in a row. Quarterback Jalen Hurts once again played at an MVP level, throwing for 217 yards, rushing for 77, and accounting for three total touchdowns. Hurts became the first quarterback in NFL history with double-digit rushing touchdowns in back-to-back -back seasons. He also posted a 109.2 quarterback rating. Running back Miles Sanders rushed for a career-high 144 yards and scored two touchdowns. A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith each had big play touchdowns. Brown went for over 1,000 yards on the season and scored on a 33-yard score in the second quarter. He had 70 yards to lead the Eagles. 
Smith had a 41-yard touchdown as part of a 5-catch, 64-yard effort. Saquon Barkley played for the Giants, but was limited. The defense feasted on the quarterbacks as Brandon Graham tied a career high with three sacks and also had a forced fumble. The Eagles had seven sacks on the day. Final score, Eagles 48, Giants 22. Congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles for clinching a playoff spot. Last week, I went 4-2 in my picks, getting the Eagles, Ravens, Cowboys, and Chiefs right. I missed the Raiders and the Jets. It's week 15 of the NFL season, which teams will win on Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. San Francisco 49ers versus Seattle Seahawks. The 49ers won big 35-7 to the Bucks. The Seahawks lost 30-24 to Carolina. I have the San Francisco 49ers winning in Seattle. Indianapolis Colts versus Minnesota Vikings. The Colts are coming off their bye week. The Vikings lost 34-23 at Detroit. I have the Minnesota Vikings winning in Minnesota. Baltimore Ravens versus Cleveland Browns and AFC North Showdown. The Ravens won 16-14 at Pittsburgh. The Browns lost 23-10 at Cincinnati. I have the Baltimore Ravens winning in Cleveland. Miami Dolphins versus Buffalo Bills and AFC East Showdown. The Dolphins lost 23-17 to the Chargers. The Bills won 20-12 to the Jets. I have the Buffalo Bills winning in Orchard Park. Philadelphia Eagles versus Chicago Bears. The Eagles won 48-22 in New Jersey. The Bears are coming off their bye week. Sorry, Bears fans. The Eagles are going to 13-1. Dallas Cowboys versus Jacksonville Jaguars. The Cowboys won 27-23 to Houston. The Jaguars won 36-22 at Tennessee. I have the Jacksonville Jaguars winning in Jacksonville. Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. Who was the first quarterback in NFL history to record over 900 passing yards and over 150 rushing yards in the first three games of the season? The answer, Jalen Hurts. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let's Talk Sports.